my lovely ravens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantelle and today I'm going to finish these journals. So we had a few episodes of these botanical journals and the only thing left is to do the ephemera. There are a lot of pages in here that are already decorated, like the herbal pages, but there are also some that are just plain blank like these. And it's great for writing. Don't get me wrong. It's great. I normally leave them like that and add removable ephemera. So I think that is also what I'm going to do today with this journal. And of course, like with this thing, there are a lot of pockets to be filled. So I have prepared a little stack for each of these journals. So I have two and both will be eventually in my online shop available for sale. It won't be till July because shipping is still ridiculous right now. So in this little pocket, I have some cutouts from a magazine and from that herbal journal book that I showed you last time or the time before. And then I also have these images from, I think it was a magazine or it was the same book actually, but um, I might actually keep these for my Molly Weasley journals because that fits a little bit better there. But I'll definitely use those. Then from another random kit, I can't remember which one it was. I have for each journal, I have a little booklet that goes inside the journal. So it's just a little booklet with random pages that I just dug up from my stash. And uh, yeah, it's just a little extra notebook. Same for this one. And I have some tags, some Tim Holtz, Holtz tags. These are from the paper pack that I used. That's from these papers. That's these cards and there's different ones in both journals, but I just divided them basically from the same pack or the, the downloads that I got these from, there were these tags that I could make. So it was basically a closed tag, but I cut out this. Then the butterfly is a, um, a fussy cut, which I glued onto some music sheet. It might have even be a sticker. And then I run that through my um, laminator machine and stuck it in the middle. So there we have that, it's see-through. And then I put the brand in there. So I have two of these for every journal, for both journals. And then I have more of these journaling cards from that same paper pack. Another card from that same pack, a distressed index card. These are cards from a, I think someone sent these to me from Tim Holtz. I think they were, but it's all of these. No, they were not from Tim Holtz. These are from, these are, these are just postcards from um, a pack that my friend Jen sent me. There we have that all nature themed um, and I have a similar pack for that one and then a the big tag uh, and some of them I've decorated with some sentiments. So the same things are in here. So that is that and um, basically now I just need to add that to the journal but there's a few other things that I might add with these papers, I have so many leftovers and it all goes with this journal because obviously I've used it throughout. And I might add some tuck spots and some flip opens. Um, yeah, just adding some more interest to a Z journal in general. So let's just get started, shall we? So first of all, there are some pockets in here that need to be filled. So I do have some leftovers here and perhaps I can just Take one of them 
that seems to be fitting nicely if I just trim off the top. That will just make a nice journaling card just around the corners there. There we have it. Quick and easy journaling card. I seem to have written at the back there, but let's just remove that. And you know what? It doesn't always need to be very complicated. Just a simple card inside a pocket would be fine. And I've done the same with this one. There's also a card in there. Because this is vellum, you can kind of slightly see through it, which is nice. So there's those two pockets. Let's see if there's any other pockets in this journal. Not in this signature. No. Okay. And this one was in this signature. Okay. Then we have this thing. And then... Any pockets in here? There is, but apparently I've already put some natural history images in this one. There's always another side to a pocket. And there's already something in that one, so that is all fine. More pockets in here. Yes, there is another pocket in here, a longer one. Let's see. Hi. Some of those. There's some cards in here that I might be able to use. Ooh, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just going to round those corners again. Perfect. This one be a little hurt. Pockets filled. And that's it. Some three more larger pockets to be filled there. Anyway, I'm going to do the same thing for this one. And they are done. I am so happy with these journals and um, I'm going to give you a little flip through. There are two elements, maybe three. I think there's only two elements in here that I have not shown before on my channel. Uh, but I will show you how to do them as we go. So I'm just going to flip through one. They both have the same elements. Some cards might be different from one another and the placement of them might be different, but they have the same amount of elements. So this is the closure. It's just a wrap around cotton and sari silk closure that I've sewn together. Nothing special. Then on the cover, we have a card that is stitched and this floral arrangement thing. And I've added a little bell because I do that to all my journals. And this is the spine and this is the back. Just a plain cotton cover. There we have it. There's a card there, a ticket there, another card there. So I've left these cutouts plain just because people might want to use them throughout their journals, stick them over images, make tuck spots even and if you really want to write on the back you can stick another piece of paper on the back you know but i've left them the way they are so people can use them however they want and there's quite a few in each of the journals and this is that tag that i've shown you before and a little booklet and another card that all just sits very nicely in here one of those T over the page holders, ephemera holders, if you take the T out. And I've added some tabs as well, just from some leftover papers. I've just folded it over, rounded the corners, and that's 
basically it. Don't need to dedicate a whole video to, you know, tabs. Unless I make them from paper clips, which I still want to do at some point. All the papers, and this is one of those um, belly bands that I've added. Also from leftover scraps. The pages. Just finding where all the elements are so I can show you. That was the first signature. So I've left quite a bit of journaling space just because that is my style of journal making. If you want to add photos, writing, all the cards that are included, by all means, go ahead and stick them wherever you want. Here's the page marker. Here is uh, two cards in uh, one of those pockets. I cut off the side, like the complete side and then um, diagonal just to give it a little bit more interest. This thing. So is it Liz the, from the paper project? She made these and these are made from the bottom of paper bags. And I'll quickly show you how to do these. So they basically flip open and there's some stickers in there and ephemera. And in the other one as well, the, the sticker just might slightly differ. And uh, it's quite, there's quite a bit in there. So let me quickly show you how I did this one. Um, it's seriously so easy, so easy that you're probably going to be like, oh, why did I not know this before? Um, let me get a paper bag. Now this is a rather large paper bag and um, well, large-ish for this type of thing because this would be a very, very big compartment, but I'll show you anyway. So what you want to do is keep this flat and you're gonna cut right there. So don't cut this off and don't cut into it, but just cut along this with scissors. So see that? You cut along this and not that. Just use it as a guide. Now you can still use, obviously, you can still use this because it's kind of cool with glasses. But this is what you want. This part is going to be glued down. And then you have this part that pops open. And that's all there is to it. It's because I have to hold it down to show you how it works. But And then if you pop it back, it just flips back into place. And the only thing I did was add a piece of paper and then a little like lip so you can pull it open on that little tab there. So that's it. This is just the larger version of it. It just pops open like that. Isn't that cool? Um, there's just flat items that you can store in there and I suppose it can be a bit bulky if you want it to be. Um, but you can also um, put just one of those um, closures on there so if you if it's if it becomes very really bulk, bulky you can just close it up i just left it open for now another tab there and it's another piece of scrap paper A card and then we get the middle signature i'll show you everything that's in there So remember with this one that this pocket is not open, it is open with the other journal because I just stitched this closed or glued it closed or something like that. There's two cards in there, same with the other one and with the other one there's also a card on the inside. Um, there is on the other side of this signature there's another one of these flip ups, that's this one and with that one I did not forget to leave it open. So in here, there is a 
card there. And then there's two cards there again. Close that up again. Open this one up. This is where you'll find the most ephemera. So one of you wonderful people commented that I should add a pouch with moss, which I did. So this, I'm not sure if I showed you this in one of my other videos, but this is a concealed paper clip uh, with a dangly. You can also leave it open on the other side and have the underside closed and have a dangly at the top. Um, if you want me to dedicate a separate video to these kind of paper clip, but also how you can add, can make tabs that way, I will make a video, but please let me know in the comments down below. So what I did with the baggie is it was a simple Ziploc baggie from some kind of product that I had. Um, and I keep them for this kind of purpose. So I cut off that top strip, then I glued it over, glued it down, but I just wanted to get rid of the bulk. So I glued it down then I glued on a strip of paper, put a bread in little, um, spring ring and then the paper clip and there that's it it's purely for decoration purposes but i thought it was fun to add um and thank you whoever the suggestion was from it's, it's just fun just a fun little element there's two tickets in there and another card there and then there's that paper clip again it just goes over the page um three cards there one two three four cards in there then there's that signature. I did not do anything with that. I just left it as as it was. There's um, a lot of cards. One, two, three, four, or five cards. This is a very long card. It was just a piece of scrap paper. So I just left it that long because I thought that was nice. Like a bookmark kind of thing. Two cards there. And one, two, three, four, five cards in there. That's a lot. And I just showed you the, the back flip up. So we're done with this signature. Just gonna close that up. Just a knot and the bow. There is a uh, book page in there with another tab. Here's another two pockets that I've created. Um, yeah, just tuck spots, basically with one, two, three cards in there. And um, just leftovers again, just leftovers. All the papers. And another piece of botanical dictionary paper again. And for some of these bags, I had to glue the bottom closed because it was open. Um, but yeah, it works as a pocket now. Two parts in there. I like that it's like see-through. And then this, I think this is the last element that I added. Um, another piece of scrapbook paper, um, yeah, leftover scrapbook paper um, with a pocket there and some ephemera there and some ephemera in there. Another botanical dictionary page. And another one with another card as well there. And another two cards. And here we have another one of those flip up thingamabobs. Um, there's just, there's a little ticket in there and two little cards. Um, same with the other journal, of course. 
And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't forget that top pocket because there's some cards in there too. You can hardly see them. It's like a little hidden pocket. pocket. But they are definitely there. So this is it for this video. I hope you like these journals and the series that I created on this channel and I hope you were able to create along with me. Let me know if you did, because I would love to see photos. Just uh, send me an email or, um, or tag me on Instagram with your creations. Eventually, these journals will be for sale on my website. The website is under construction, but as soon as it's up, I will do a flip through of all my journals and you will see these two in there as well. I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.